Hello and welcome to the 36th episode of our weekly Unity Tip Roundup, where we take a look at the tweets that were posted or mentioned on or around each Tuesday under the Unity Tips hashtag. Oh wow, we didn't pay attention for a moment and September is almost over. Does it feel the same for you? If we now slowly look at the calendar, we are alarmed to discover that Christmas is less than 100 days away. We already know how it's going to end. We will forget this information again and end up with no presents. But we will try to remind you. Until then, we have a few gifts for you from the Unity community. Let's take a look at 5 tips that we've collected. In this episode, we gathered 5 of the tweets that were posted, shared or retweeted around 20th of September 2022. We start this Unity Tip video again with Peter from Sunny Valley Studio. Peter was with us last week and countless times before. You know by now that Sunny Valley Studio is part of our Unity Tip videos almost every week. But did we already mention that Peter is also open for contract work? If not, here we go. Peter is open for contract work. And he also brought us a cool tip. Use the trail renderer to add nice feedback to the movement in your game. You can find more information about this in the tweet. He also included a link to a more in-depth video. The Kevin was not quite so often in the Unity Tip videos. If we counted it correctly, this is his second appearance. Nice to see you again. Kevin has over 33,000 followers. Kevin has been working on a game called Last Man Sitting for a while now. If we had to describe it briefly, it would be a mix of Tony Hawk Pro Skater and John Wick action on a swivel chair. Yeah, you heard it right, a swivel chair. There is no release date yet, but you can already wishlist it on Steam. Anyway, roses are red, violets are blue, the Kevin has a nice Unity tip for you. If you adjust the jaw dampening in Cinemachine dynamically, you can avoid abrupt directional changes and get a smoother camera. Check out the clip in his tweet. Too bad there is no office chair rolling. Pedro has never before been in our Unity Tip videos. Welcome and glad to have you here. Pedro has been developing video games since 2015 and has 88 followers on Twitter so far. Maybe we can help him to break the 100? His first Unity Tip in our videos helps Unity developers with a simple organizational tip. Use the onValidate method to change the name of a game object. This may help you structure your projects nicely. In his tweet he has a small screenshot and below it is a second tweet with an animation how it works exactly. Feel free to have a closer look. See you next time, Pedro. In Germany we would say, Milza ist ein alter Hase. He is an old hand. Milza posts cool and useful tips for the Unity community week after week under the hashtag UnityTips. This is also one of the reasons why more than 11,000 people already follow him on Twitter. This week his tip is about a useful helper function that clamps a value between 0 and 1. You can use either the usual clamping function or the more specialized clamp 01, which will always clamp the value to the 0 to 1 range. Did you know that? Definitely one of those tips that seem small but will help out a lot of people. Carl Jones has already been here twice and we are happy that he is back again. Carl already has 1300 followers and is a senior dev software developer at Unity. He makes UI and localization tools. He also develops parts of the open source software KDIS. What is KDIS? KDIS is an open source implementation in C++ of DIS, the Distributed Interactive Simulation. He just wants to point out that since version 2022.2 you also have access to the member boxed value of a serialized property. This makes writing custom property draws a little bit easier. Check out his tweet for a link to the corresponding documentation and a bit more information. At the end of this great list of cool tips, you will find, as always, our contribution to Unity Tip Tuesday. This is one of those tips you just have to know to avoid ending up with a messed up repository. When doing a rebase, you should always check which data is mine and theirs from Git's viewpoint. It might not be the way it sounds, in fact mine and theirs might be exactly the opposite. Check out our tweet and the discussion for a screenshot and a link to the corresponding documentation. 
It's always a good idea to build up some Git skills for working on larger projects and in bigger teams. It's not Christmas yet, our video wasn't that long. But yet another Unity Tip video is almost over. We are really looking forward to welcoming new faces to our series with you week after week, as well as welcoming the already familiar Unity Tip hashtaggers. We also never get tired of saying that these videos wouldn't exist if there weren't countless people out there willing to share their knowledge with us. So a big thank you to the Unity community in general. And a special thank you goes out to the 5 accounts we mentioned in this video and whose great tips we used. Check out their accounts, retweet the tips, leave some likes or follow these awesome people. It's all part of the appreciation. And if you still want to do some more, you can subscribe to us on YouTube, so you don't miss our weekly Unity Tip videos. Of course, the notification bell deserves a click too. We are already looking forward to next week. For any questions, comments, recommendations or requests, please use the comment section. Thank you for your time and see you next week.